Hello, today we are going to test Arduino EC sensor made by ECPH transmitters. I have the uh, Model A 1003V1 sensor which consists of a, a unit, an industrial conductivity sensor and it comes with a cable that connects directly to Arduino. In this case we're going to use Arduino Uno and I've already uploaded the, uh, the sketch, the analog serial in and serial out and um, we're going to measure the EC of the water, the electrical conductivity. Now advantages of this sensor is it's, it's reading it's ready for immediate operation. There's no need for additional parts. It comes with the probe. There's no, solder, there's no need for soldering or no need for additional BNC connectors. Everything you need is right here. Just connect and it's ready for operation. It's used for industrial applications, student projects. It's commonly used in hydroponics, aquaculture and freshwater system to monitor the amount of nutrients, salts, or impurities in, in, in the water. And the uh, sensor is industrial grade. It does have a half inch threaded um, fitting. You can actually put this into the T and it becomes an inline probe instead of a submersible, or you can submerse it um, inside the water, no problem. And it does have a temperature compensator right in the middle. It's a thermos, thermistor, I believe. Uh, and um, the cable itself is you just connect to Arduino and it powers itself from the Arduino and provides the signal out. In this case it's 0 to 5 EC is the range or 0 to 5000 micro Siemens or that will be 0 to 3200 ppm. You can do both actually just by adjusting this little calibration trim pot you can uh, you can change the values easily so let's connect and see um, how it works. Uh, first, let's connect the cable. Uh, so I'm using, there's three wires, and it does come with the pins. So all you have to do is just uh, insert them in the, into the header. So we, uh, red will go to 5 volts, uh, blue will go to ground. And a white one will go to any of the analog inputs. I'm using analog A1 actually right now. And there's a DIN connector. Just connect to the unit and powers up. You can see. And now the probe itself. Uh, it does have come with a one meter of cable. And also a DIN connector. Let's connect this to the unit. Okay, and let me upload the sketch. Uh, let's see, um, I would like you to see the monitor, so I've increased the font so you can actually see the values. There you go. So now currently the EC is zero. And uh, I do have a known solutions here. Uh, one is a tap water, pretty dirty tap water actually. It's about 610 micro Siemens. And I do have a um, known solution of 1.24 uh, conductivity solution. And we going to insert this into a tap water first. Okay. Now you can see the reading instantly changed to 0.6 EC. Now you can change the value so you can actually read the, the micro Siemens or PPM but just by changing um, the numbers on and the sketch. But for now it's EC of 0.60. And if you need to calibrate then you may use a screwdriver a flat screwdriver and you can you can manipulate the numbers uh, for fine-tuning now let's put the the electrode let's put the sensor in in, in a known solution of 1.25 and it's actually reading 1.3 1.29 and let's adjust to match to 1.25 
there. 1.25. Now let's go back to our tap water. Uh, it's reading about but 59, so 590. And uh, this unit has error of 2% from the full scale, which is pretty good, actually. Now let's, uh, I do have a, a, a PPM uh, test meter, TDS meter. And let's match, since there's, this reads PPM, let's match the, uh, let's change the uh, sketch to PPM and, and see how close this unit is with the, uh, with the sensor. Uh, measuring ppm let's see let's go to our arduino let's change it to ppm and change the value to read ppm now the full scale will be 3200 uh, parts per million and Now we have parts per million. I uh, should have to add one more zero here. I forgot. There you go. Okay. Serial monitor. Okay, I'm actually reading 580 ppm. Let's verify. Okay, 396. So let's change our calibration with our calibration trim pot. Let's change it to 396. Because uh, remember, this was micro Siemens. Now we're reading PPM 396. Okay, it's about there. I got 395 and now let's put it in the uh, known solution and I'm reading about 854 well, let's see if it's accurate I'm getting about 820. So again, fine tuning. 820. So let's bring it down to 820. Oops. There. 820, 825. So this way you can fine tune to, to have exact match with your uh, handheld meter. That's pretty close. Okay, uh, now in the tap water I get, I'm getting 390. And let's see with this. And 397, 399, 397. So you can fine tune basically to have exact measurements but primarily, uh, we, we use EC uh, scale of 0 to 5 EC, and it's a pretty reliable unit, and it's priced very economically, uh, very inexpensive unit to, to use uh, for your projects. Well, thanks for watching.